Hey guys, Chess Gibson here, IMG Academy, Voluntary Tennis Program. We have Josh here with us all the way from Belgium and he's been spending a little bit of time here with us at the Academy, training. I know that he had said he had used, that he was in the green dot ball and uh, we've used that a little bit here this week and also mixed in a little bit of the regular ball with him. He's doing really well with his strokes. In fact, I was talking to the parents, I, I totally respect the fact that Back, back where he's training right now, they're staying patient with him and, and staying in the green ball. He is getting real close to being able to handle that, that bigger ball, and I think he even feels it too. Um, the stroke looks beautiful. Um, I mean, you look at this forehand right here, and, and biomechanically and technically speaking, he has got the makings to have a huge forehand, and look at how young he's developed this. So that's why I, I truly believe in that system as far as the soft balls go. Um, and the coaches back at home are doing a great job with him. You can see the, uh, the nice technique right there on the side. As he gets older, he's going to have to hit a lot of tennis balls. He's going to have to increase his hours and also play a lot of matches and, and, and be in an environment where he's going to be able to, to compete a lot and learn how to play because I don't think the technique on this boy, I think it's going to be great. Um, keeps that right hand on the right side of his body, steps in, accelerates good and extends all the way out. So um, what's going to be important for him, like I said, is that competition aspect and the movement, learning how to move, which I'm going to tell you right now, I can already tell he's he's going to be a quick mover. He's going to be fast on the court. So really excited about this boy and, and where you know he can go with this game in the future. Let's look at your backhand real quick. Josh, forehand is awesome. Very good forehand. Let's look at your backhand, okay? I know we were looking at maybe in the near future starting to switch him to a little bit larger racket. I think he's getting very close. Look at the backhand, perfect. Nice take back on the side there. And the other good advantage of those, those green dot balls is they teach you the strategy that you need. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about the height of the ball balance being too high when you're younger and the strength issue. I love that aspect of it. Um, I think he's, he's, he's probably getting big enough and hitting the ball well enough he can do with the regular ball some of the stuff like I'm doing right here, just hand feeding, letting him get used to the weight of that ball a little bit. Um, you know, as he, it doesn't mean you can't go back to the green and continue to do live ball and train with it and whatnot, but it just means that, that he's getting starting to get used to the weight of it a little bit because eventually he is going to have to make that transition. And you don't want him to be so used to that light feeling ball that, that he really struggles and has confidence problems in the beginning. So these little hand fed drills are great for him just to get used to the weight of it and, and what it feels like when the, when the racket hits it and then he'll start to build confidence with this new ball as well. So very good. Let's look at your serve real quick, okay? Look at the serve a little bit. You got great strokes, Josh. Get the ball nice. Serve. Once again, we're looking for a very simple toss right in front of him. We're looking for him to, to sort of throw that right arm just like he's throwing a ball when he's hitting. He's doing that. He's getting good grips established. So, like I said earlier, whoever's working with him is doing a good job. We just really enjoy being a part of it. You know, him coming here and, and um, you know, someday he gets a little bit older, lifts a little bit bigger. Maybe he can... He can come back and um, and uh, you know try to compete with some of our better players here someday. You never know. We've got uh, uh oh, we've got some very high level players that train out of here, both ITF and professional. So uh, maybe someday um, we'll be seeing him out there with them. So it's great to see them young be this this talented and this good when they're younger because you just know there's a bright future. You don't know how good they're going to be. You don't know what level he's going to get to. You just know there's a chance, and if he works hard, uh, good things can happen. Good job. So, all in all, very good with him. Um, like I say, we'd love to see him back here again someday. He's he's good. he's a great athlete. He's got very good techniques. Coaches, I, g I give you props. It's a very good job so far with him, in our opinion, here at the academy, as far as the techniques go and everything. Um, hope he's enjoyed himself this week. We've had some fun. I know we've, we've really enjoyed having him. He's got a smile on his face, and he always enjoys playing. So um, until next time, thanks once again. If you have any questions, feel free to email in at imgacademies.com.
go to the uh, tennis section of the website under coaches. You can email any of us. All of us coaches are on the website. Email anytime. Okay. Thanks a lot. Good job.